Okay. Now, let's start with prescriptions. If you see a list of prescriptions in the current visit, it means you are seeing ongoing prescriptions. The ongoing prescription list shows the current drug regimen of the patient. You can see here that there are seven more days remaining for this prescription. This is shown based on your earlier entry. So if you have entered this medicine to be taken for 10 days, and the patient comes back after 3 days, you would see 7 days remaining. You can issue a new medicine by clicking the add slash modify link. Enter the medicine name. If it is not found, type it for this visit. Select the unit, say tab. Then enter the dosage in the columns provided. You have a choice to enter anything. So you can say 500 mg into 1 or you can enter the medicine name itself as crocine 500 mg. You can also set the special conditions like before food or after food. You can choose which medicines should be printed on the prescription print by using the print checkbox. This feature is provided to as some doctors have certain medicines in-house which they issue to the patient. They don't want patient to buy these separately. Please note. If the days section is not entered, my OPD considers this medicine as an ongoing prescription. That is, it considers that this prescription will never end. This is useful for blood pressure or sugar control medicines which typically do not have a specified end date. You can always remove the drug from the prescription on next visit by using the delete option. Let's see what happens if an allergic medicine is entered in the prescription. As seen, my OPD warns you on prescribing an allergic drug. On subsequent entries once you have sizable prescriptions entered, use the quick it feature for faster entry. If you want to repeat the dosage from last visit, simply use copy from last and the entire medicine list will be repeated from this patient's prior visit. You will still have to do some modification if required to this list.